welcome to another Netzel Feature Spotlight video. Today we're taking a look at Netzel's Command Line Interface, or CLI, and Python Library for Developers. To get started with the Netzel CLI, head to developers.netzel.com and click on Netzel CLI for installation instructions. The Netzel CLI is a powerful interface that can do everything available in the regular UI while enabling scripting, advanced Python access, and availability wherever you're working. Let's take a look at how it works and walk through migrating a simple flow. After configuring securely with your account and inputting your unique API key, you'll now be able to access the Netsa CLI. I have it open in front of the regular interface for reference. I can type Netsa help to view all available commands and add help to any of those commands for more information like this, Netsa source help. Let's walk through a simple demo of migrating a flow from dev to production using just the CLI. So let's say in Netsa, I have a dev flow from Google Drive to FTP with a small slice of data that I wanted to test with. Now I'm ready to create a production level pipeline with the entire data set. So first I'll head into the CLI and use the pipeline export method to save all the rules of my dev flow into a local JSON file. I'll put all of the required parameters, including my dev flow ID, and specify where to put the export file. So the ID is 10366. We can see the pipeline here. I'll select pipeline one. And Nexa will then generate the JSON specification file. Now I can open that in my preferred text editor, and I can make any changes I need to the production flow. For example, since this is a Google Drive source, I might change the path for a full data set rather than just a test slice. Anything you need to change will be in the source config or stink config uh, attributes normally. I can also change the credentials later when importing if I need them. And that's what I'm going to do to a whole new Google Drive credential that will have the entire data set rather than just this test slice. We can see here as well that the specific transformations I applied to the original flow will carry over to the production flow. So maybe I was testing out this hashing transformation, an IP address to country, and a multiplying function that all worked, and now I'm happy. So once I've made all the changes I need to that, I'll save it and head back into the CLI. Now I'm going to use the pipeline import method to clone the pipeline with a new source, data set, and destination. So I'm going to put in this command. Using the uh, JSON specification file we just edited. So now it will ask me which credential I want to use. This was the original one but this is the production data credential with the entire data set. So I'll ask to use that. So now my pipeline is created in minutes with just the CLI. I can even hop into the web interface and tag the new pipeline as production for future reference. Nexus CLI unlocks powerful functionality for data operations at scale. Scripting, integration, and more is available at your fingertips. To learn more, check out our other demos or head to our website to request a free trial to try it out yourself. That's all from us in this video. See you next time.